to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we had to move things, okay? We had to move things from the backstage area where we typically film our videos, and you're probably wondering, why in the blue hell would you do that, Brad? And the reason why we did that is because today, we're covering the best WWE action figure car I think I've ever seen. Like, it's, it's very, very epic, and it is massive. It is absolutely massive. I did not expect this whatsoever. So, I ordered this the other day. You guys, if you check out our lowrider car that we took a look at the other day with the Eddie Guerrero figure. This one is made by the same people. It's still a Bratz style vehicle and it looks absolutely insane. So when this arrived yesterday, it was in a tall ass box, man. I'm talking like this box had to be like, it was at least like three and a half feet tall and I was like, Jesus Christ, what the hell did I order? A gaming chair? What is this? And then I pull it out and I like kind of shook it a little bit and it kind of made that like, you know, that toy car noise that kind of shakes a little. You may not know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways, it made a little noise. I brought it in the kitchen. I cut it open and I was like, good God in heaven. And I pulled it out and here is the massive thing in all its glory. I mean, just look at it, man. I had to move this because I could not fit it in frame in my backstage area. It's way too big. If I shoot this thing, it will have to be in the garage where it kind of looks like a parking lot and stuff. I've done that before on the pick fed, but this thing's absolutely epic. And I'm going to try my best to get all the details of this thing, man, because this is something that you should absolutely purchase if you want to like take your setups to the next level you know you want like a parking lot brawl this is an excellent vehicle for that i mean there is a ton of things that you can do with this and i'm super excited to dive into it i do have some wrestlers right here for comparison and i mean you guys can even see like if you just look at the vehicle compared to the figures it's a ginormous piece i mean it really is let's go ahead and get down here and see if we can see what you know this vince mcmahon figure looks like up next to the door here so you guys can kind of see what we're working with right there i feel like it scales pretty much much perfectly like if they were to make an actual 112th scale vehicle this is probably what it would be like i mean it's probably a tad oversized especially if you go to the trunk area back here looking at the trunk area i mean yeah let's look at buddy murphy right here in the back i mean it may be a little bit oversized but it still works completely the trunk does open i can't even do it one-handed so that's just awesome there it goes you got some speakers back there. Tons and tons of room back here, man. Like, when I say tons and tons of room, there is, like, an asinine amount of room back here. Like, here's a Diet Ducan. I can all, I can pretty much put the whole Diet Ducan inside the trunk of this vehicle. That is absolutely ridiculous how much room there is. So you could probably fit two, three, four superstars back there. Pro at least two. At least two. No doubt about that. I want to say it has operational lights. I could be wrong about that, but I, I need to set this damn camera up, man. All right, so taking a look at the limousine, guys. I moved the superstars around, and you guys can just sit. Like, here's my hand. This thing is absolutely epic. It's very heavy, actually. I would say... I don't know man it's definitely like five pounds it's at least five pounds something like that and maybe a little bit over it there but what's really cool about this is that the doors are operational like you do get playability right here uh you got operational seat belts off in that thing you guys can see the seat belts much like the low rider you get the little star on the bottom there of course you don't have seating like an actual limo you know seating in a limo is usually like this would be much longer you'd have this up here and then you'd have the long back seat with like the stretch couch that wraps around the vehicle if you guys have ever been in a limo I've been in one maybe like six, seven times in my lifetime. It's got a little dust on there. Didn't really clean it for the shoe. Probably a big mistake. Another really cool feature of this thing, guys, is that the windows are operational. So, like, I haven't figured out a good way of, like, holding them in place. I'm sure there's somewhere where you can hold them in place, but the windows go down. So, say you have, like, an interview. You could have Michael Cole walk up to the, you know, walk up to the window and have Kenny Omega roll the window down, be sitting in the back seat and be like, what the hell do you want, Brad? So, like, that'd be cool. I know Michael Cole does an interview superstars for me but you know i can come up and interview his ass through the window and that would be pretty cool but there's the operational door you also have the front operational door right there also an operational window that stays up one thing i have noticed though is that the window like it kind of it kind of it falls apart there again this is kind of an older vehicle so not everything's going to be perfect oh it looks like the that kind of broke off right there i could easily glue that but you can't even really tell. Anyways, just found a little mini bottle accessory, so that's interesting. Speaking of little accessories, we also have this little baggie that came with the vehicle, and I haven't really even looked in here, but we have a ton of little accessories in here that I wanted to show you guys. So up first, you have like, I guess, this makeup box. Let's get a better shot. So up first is this like little makeup box. So I guess you can open it, you know, you put it like in the middle console and you can open it up. You got the mirror right there. You got different makeups and stuff. Of course, that can work as a cooler or whatever. We also have this little 
mini bottle accessory, which is pretty cool. We have a little drinking glass with some wine or something in it. We have like a little diary book deal. Don't know what I could use that for. We have another like sippy style drink right there. Little beach style drink, I guess you could call it. Another little bottle slash vase. Another glass and another glass. And then it looks like we have the side mirror. So I guess the side mirrors popped out. I could easily just, you know, glue those back in place or whatever. But there's the side mirrors. So just outside of the little accessory thingies, let me go get a damn tape measure. So this is probably the cruddiest tape measure that I own, but it'll definitely get the job done here. So measuring it from the back trunk all the way to the front, this thing is around 23 inches long. So two feet long, just about. And then in width, you're looking at another 10 inches or so. So this thing's massive, it's epic. You get a lot of playability out of this thing. I think my favorite feature, I mean, of course you have the operational doors, but this right here, man, the top of the limo. Now how badass would it be? This is also, like, stay with me here. This is also completely operational. So you can have guys sticking out of the top of this if you want. What I'm thinking though is you get a little John Cena action up here. You get a superstar, go him up right here and you can AA him through the roof and if you were pick fetting it or stop motioning it you do the same thing that we did at hell's gate with the pods you would what push this all the way back so you can't see it and it would look like he went through the glass window and ended up inside the limo so that is insane no doubt about it man this is going to get a lot of tv time not only because we have champions that pull up in limos you know you have important figures that come into feds with limos but you get some really awesome playability now you're also probably wondering you know what if i want to get in there what if i want to get inside the limo and take a look well the top also pops off so you can pop the top off right there you can see inside here you get your back seat you could probably i mean dude i, I kind of want to test it. you got your driver's seat right here you got steering wheel you got all your buttons right here. Operational, stick shift. These seats actually recline, giggity. So, I mean, you got all kinds of stuff going on right there, man. You get the seats. Now, the glove box doesn't pop open like a traditional one, but it does slide out right there. So, you could put some more accessories up front like that if you wanted to, which is really awesome. You get GPS on the screen. You get a rear view mirror. You get, I mean, dude, this thing is insane. Like, absolutely insane. You could probably put a full faction in here rolling up. You could have somebody come and flip it like John. John Moxley and Eddie King. I mean, dude, you can, there's just so many, like the possibilities are endless. We also have this random screen back here that has Bratz dolls on it. That doesn't really bother me all that much. Now, if you wanted to purchase this, the only place I think you'll find it is maybe eBay and Mercari, like I talked about. Hey guys, this is editing tray right now, and I forgot to mention, I have a link in the description. If you go down to that link and sign up using my link, you actually get $10 off your first purchase over on Mercari, so you can get $10 off any WWE figure, any accessory, any car you want to buy. Tons of great stuff on Mercari, guys. Go over there. Use the link in the description to use that to sign up and that will give you $10 off. So go down to the link in the description, use my link and sign up fully on Mercari. That way you can save $10. I mean, that's $10. $10 can probably buy you a full figure if you find the right deal, but $10 off any figure you really wanted, man, definitely go do it. Link in the description. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Which, again, I think I got mine for $40 ship. Now, I don't know if you'll probably get that good of a deal. I know there's like a white edition. I really wanted to order the white edition. I may still get the white edition one day or something. Okay, so I just figured out. Okay, okay. So the that little tab right there is what controls the window. So look at this. You can slide the window down with this little tab and then you can pull it back up. Absolutely insane. That is super crazy. Now, one thing that's not accurate is, of course, these are, I think they're called suicide doors. I could be wrong. It's either suicide doors or butterfly doors. I want to say it's suicide doors that go backwards. So this doesn't, you know, the handle's supposed to go back here and you'd open it in the back. In this thing, you open it from the front right there. So not the biggest deal or anything, just something that I had to note. I got to, I want to see what we can do, see how many people we can get in this thing, actually. I think sit seen up in the front there. Go ahead and push the seat up right here. And if somebody were driving it, I mean, they pretty much look like they're driving the Wreck and Slam Mobile. You know, the Wreck and Slam Mobile looks about like that. You know, there's not really, you don't really bend your knees in there. You just put your full legs down in there. So, yeah, let me see if I can fit everybody in. So, you could at least fit five superstars. You may be able to fit six or something. I mean, if you wanted to cram them in there, I mean, you probably could, but absolutely, I mean, I love this thing. I absolutely love it, bro. Definitely my favorite vehicle that I've purchased over the years, like out of the, you know, the lorry truck and the airplane and 
like some of the cool vehicles we've reviewed here on the channel, I think this one is my favorite one by far. I think just the playability and how big it is and how epic and like all the different things you can do with it really sets it over the top for me, guys. But, but look at this shot. How freaking sick is that? Epic, bro. Can't recommend it enough, but I think that is going to do it for the best WWE figure car. Well, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so very much for checking out the figure car review. I would love to know what you guys think about the limo. Do you like the limo, the low rider? You know, let me know all of those things down in the comment section below. Again, tons of great playability out of this thing. The trunk is operational. Oh, my God. Okay, so the front pops off. I was actually just thinking. I didn't even check to see if the hood was operational. I don't think the hood's operational, but you can remove it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It might be operational. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, you dumb jackass. So you just have to line it up right here. Okay, I can't line it up for some idiotic reason, but all right, there we go. So there you go. It is operational. So that's another feature that you can do. There's no motor in there, so I don't know how the fuck it moves, but you guys get the point. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And don't cross the line. Like, uh, hmm. Like carrying cross the line.